What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for a little bit more of the Universe Sim, a game that I like a lot, which is why I check in on it so frequently. I'm excited about this title. I really want to see what it's going to be later on. Like, it's got to be awesome, right? You're fishing right now? Does fishing make you happy? Are you actually producing anything by fishing? That would be my second question for you. Is anything actually happening over here? Local warehouses, so we got fish that are going to be gutted until they're consumed into raw food. Okay. That makes sense. There's a local warehouse, I guess, attached to this thing. I don't know how much food it produces, but I hope it produces a lot. Uh, my suspicion is that it doesn't produce nearly as much um, as this over here. That's going to give us 26 food at the end of its cycle. We've only got like 8 left. So, oh no, Kelmbu forgot how a ladder works and didn't use one on the way down. Was, ah, falling downwards until they no longer existed. Um, this is like when Link falls down a hole and he just becomes like a little dot. He's like, Wee! Turns into that little white dot all the way down at the bottom. Pop-up bag. It's okay, though, because Link never dies. He always pops up at the beginning of the dungeon automatically. What is this right here? It's another stone hut. Y'all are eating too much. You need to stop with that shit. Uh, looks like we got six fish over here. Those are going to get gutted and do their thing. I might try to put in another fisherman's lodge down here. As soon as they decide they want to get done with the, uh, we can't help people out. With injuries until, yeah, like he's hurt. Until we have a medicine man, what the medicine man will do is the medicine man will go out and find herbs. And so herbs look like, I think these right here. That's a raspberry. Well, they look like one of these bushes over here. Like one of these is an herb bush and they'll go find herbs and they bring them on back. And if they have time to stockpile them, it usually turns out okay. Like they tend to take care of any issues that come up along the way when you're building up your city. However, they do have to clear a lot of trees over here before that job's going to get done. So I'm not going to hold my breath on it finishing in any sort of reasonable time. I'm just going to hope that life is good and we can... He'll heal too, I think. I don't know much about that, but I'm pretty sure he gets better on his own all by himself. Like, I, I think they regenerate. It's just other things that can go wrong that cause problems. So that person is drinking. How about you come back and gut some fish because we need some food. We have, like, a very dangerous food situation happening right now. And until it gets resolved, I am upset with you. Which is a declaration that doesn't really seem to affect much in life. I make it all the time. I'm like, I am upset with you in this situation. It never fixes anything. Never fixes a damn thing. Well, we'll go ahead and research that. And then as soon as the pumps are done, it looks like we can get iron stomachs, mortar and pestle. Or we can get huge muscles, y'all. With the muscles in the universe, y'all. And then so we'll figure that out. Huge muscles. I always wanted to have huge muscles. There we go. So this plant over here apparently has its growth going on. I think it just takes time because the season just swapped over. I don't know if there's anywhere over here that they can get some more stuff. But I don't really see any plants around, so I'm going to assume no is the answer to that question. Now we can go with cooking utensils. Food cooking time goes down. We can go with mortar and pestle. Or we can go with huge muscles. Let's go with disease resistance and yeah, go with iron stomachs because actually I've had a weird enough situation where sometimes they just won't clean up dead bodies. Dead bodies just lay there on the ground and they don't do anything with them. And you're like, well, why aren't you doing anything with this right now? So she's over here gutting fish, which is great. Um, that should convert into normal food once it's all done. You can see her sitting right there at the workstation. Little fish is out on the stone. Don't point out the fact that the fish was already there to begin with. No, that's a new fish. Just give yourself into the fantasy. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. This person over here is almost done as hell. And so he's resting right now while everyone else starves. But we did produce a food. We were, uh-oh, food is gone. That's not good. It's gonna hurt. I probably should have got the Fisherman's Lodge up first, but that was kind of dumb of me. Uh, you know, things you learn when you play this game. Are you done with those yet? Oh, good, we have a food right there. Nice. And so apparently somebody already grabbed that. That food is coming from here? I guess the food must be coming from the Fisherman. I guess. I don't know 100% whether or not it's coming from the Fisherman. We just got a bunch more food, or somebody just went out and foraged. That's the other possibility. When they get low on food, sometimes they go out to like these little spots over here. Yeah, that's probably what happened. They went out and they foraged for it. You can't really do that in the winter, but during the normal seasons, you totally can. I probably should have built my medicine lodge totally somewhere else. This is kind of a dumb spot for it. I should have put it back here near all the herbs. Hmm. 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 
You know, nobody's even worked on it yet. Forget it. Just abort that thing. Yeah, get it out of there. Like, make it go away. And I'm just going to put it over here where there's a bit more room. And there's also herbs that are actually actively close. And so I think that one was inside of here. There we go. We'll uh, put this on the back end of the farm, I guess. And hopefully our little world will expand around it. That also has the added benefit that it doesn't require any sort of, like, trees or land clearing to take place in order for it to function properly. The other thing we could dive on into is we can go with maybe another fisherman's lodge. We have an eatery right there. That's where they'll take food and they'll make the food a little bit more palatable and pleasant. In case you're wondering how that works. In general, you kind of want it to be in a centralized area where all the houses are. So something like that right there would probably work okay. What they'll do is they'll go to the food repository, then they cook the food, then they take care of the food, and it gives everybody a passive, like, a happiness buff whenever they eat food, which is pretty sweet. I think I already talked about that in the previous episode, but eh. We've got a school right there, we've got a forecast tower and a bunker, we've got a cemetery. I think the cemetery is a great idea because we're starting to get to the point where I think some of these people are going to start dying. Like, I don't see a lot of old people around just yet. But getting it done sooner rather than later, there's kind of like an order to the way you want to do stuff in this game. And if you pick the wrong technologies too many times in a row, you're going to end up with issues like, for example, we didn't get medical science up fast enough, so these guys all have broken legs and they're wandering around looking all busted and upset. Don't fight mammoths right now. Now is not the time for a mammoth war. Convince the mammoths that we are a kind and gentle people who wish them no harm. Is this done yet? I got two people working on that right there. They brought over the stone. They got a little bit of wood. Fantastic. And what will happen is there will be little medical beds over here. And the little guys will go and they'll lay inside the medical beds for a little while to get themselves healed up of all of their wounds and boo-boos and ouchies and that kind of stuff. There's some herbs left over there, some herbs left over there, and some herbs left over there. Uh, we probably want to get the preparation of some of our materials done a little bit faster. Are we going to get two harvests in from over here? God, I hope so. That would be amazingly awesome. He's got seven food inside of his storage. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, they're just eating raw food for right now. It's going to take a lot of tree chopping to get that done. But the bonus on that front is that they need wood over here. And so as they're chopping trees on this side to clear for that, it should make room for this right here. We also have a big old rock pile right there, which is badass. Give us a whole bunch of workable materials. We'll try to find somebody we can put inside of here. I think this is governed by, like, do they have intelligence or something like that? I don't recall. I don't remember what makes them better. I don't recall what makes them better at being a doctor. Something makes them better at being a doctor, but I don't know. We got a bunch of people going to sleep right now. Health is not great, but once we get the cemetery done, I'll probably pop the cemetery in right next to the doctor's office, which is a little bit foreboding. It's a tiny bit upsetting, but like... I'm keeping it efficient. I would assume that anybody that gets sick is going to be like, I'm going to go here, and then if they die, they can just chuck them out of a window or something. Straight into that, that's how we deal with dead bodies, right? You just chuck them into the window. My granddad used to say that. My granddad would be like, I don't want a funeral. Just roll me out into the gutter and let the wolves have me. I don't really want one either. I don't know. Sink me in the ocean or something. Take me out to Hawaii and, like, I don't know, construct me into a prop to scare children. Like, I don't know, turn me into a crazy, like, bugos looking thing that you put inside of a haunted house somewhere. That works. I don't know. I want my body to get some use out of it after the fact. Iron Stomachs is done, which is great. Uh, we can go for molars. So their lunch break spree speed is faster. Yeah, do that. And then we'll add that to the queue. We'll add the school to the queue. So we've got three things in queue right now. So we should have to worry about our research for a little while. Although in general with this game, it can be a little bit odd. I need somebody over here to become my dude. He's just a laborer. All right, Kelmboo, guess what? You get to wear an awesome hat and tell everybody else how to make themselves feel better and stop shitting themselves to death. Because I am convinced, my study of history, every book, just people die in a pooping. Everybody gets dysentery and dies. I think that was like a major concern back in the day. Like there was always a reasonably solid chance that you would just die of pooping yourself. That's it. You just didn't make it. One day you wake up and you're like, oh, my britches are full of doo-doo. And then you're dead like two days later from pooping too much. We don't die of that nowadays. But that's kind of a horrifying situation to be in, if I'm honest. Like, ain't nobody want to die of that. That's not a gracious way to go out. That's not a good look. Like, when you finish off your stint on that planet, 
or this planet. I don't know what planet you're from. You could be watching this anywhere. But when you finish off your stint, you want to go out with a little bit of decorum, you know what I mean? You got to go out with a little bit of a legacy. And nobody wants to be that guy where on, you know, the tombstone, where they're like, I don't know, here lies Jack. He died from his crap, you know? Like, you, you don't want that to happen. That's bullshit. Like, I, I do want to have a funny tombstone, though, when I die. I don't know what I want it to say on it. But I know I want it to be funny. I want it to be, like, really, really funny. I want it to be hilarious. Like, I want it to be one of those things where people say it and they're like, Heh, that's mildly funny. Like, and then they take pictures of it and then they post it on Discord, which is blowing up right now. Damn it! I swear to God, Discord is, like, one of those things where, like, you're supposed to have it and, like, you do have it, but then you leave it open on, like, a browser that has, like, 15 tabs open and then you're like, where's that bloop noise coming from all the time? You're trying to figure out what chat is causing it so you can mute it, but you've got so many servers you're a part of now. Ugh. So preparing medicine. That's good. That's I'm sure are the skulls a necessary part of the medicine? Or are those just like coconuts you've made to look like skulls? I can't really tell, but he's got some kind of Pepto Bismol berry broth over there that he's trying to make better. So there it is. He'll go over to this side and he'll be like, Bam! And he'll start doing like a little jiggle dance, and as you can see, her health bar is going back up, and it will make her feel better. When she gets back up to the interval one, uh, she'll heal on her own. She'll probably leave the doctor's office. Oh, no, he's just going to keep on working on her. All right, then, never mind. I didn't say anything about anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. Are you guys building another hut over anywhere? I'm sure there's huts going up right now because we have people everywhere. I think the huts are different this time around, too. The last time I played the game, the huts all looked the same. Now they've got, like, little symbols and stuff on them for the various families and tribes or whatever so that they can have, like, you know... You've got a... What does this say over here? Oh, yeah, we have the eatery. We needed somebody to come and take care of this. I'll throw, like, anybody on the eatery. It doesn't matter. Yeah, go cook food for everybody. That place has no food, but what they'll do is they'll grab the raw food, they'll take it over there, and they'll start making prepared meals. And just like in RimWorld, in general, you want people eating prepared meals. It's good for them. It makes them feel better. The other thing we should probably queue up is the cemetery. Where is that at? It's right there. All right, so before they build anything over here... Is that the radius from which they'll collect bodies? Like, what is that red ring right there? We've got, like, a literal red ring of death. Like, is that where they collect dead bodies from? Or, like, how does that function and work? Hmm. That's not a very large area to get dead guys from. I mean, there's houses everywhere, though, so what am I going to do about it? Chances are these people spend all their time working, so they're probably going to die at work. As depressing as that sounds. Dude, if I die at work, I swear to God... If I die at work, well, I guess now that I work on YouTube, that's okay. But if I died at work at, like, any of my old jobs, like the restaurants and stuff, ugh, that would have been the worst. That's not the place you want to go out. Like, I, I don't think I'm going to go out, like, in bed reflecting on achievements or anything either. Like, me, celebrating past achievements. I don't think I'm going to have many of those. <laughs> I'm just not motivated enough. I'm not that guy. Like, as long as my bank account has enough to pay rent, I'm just like, ah, why overextend myself or try hard? Meh. I could do that, or I could spend all of my 50 hours of free time a week on Final Fantasy Online, huh? Is that or that? Maybe I'll lay in bed and reflect on my old raid gear. Like, after all these years, I'm happy to say that Tier 4 was totally worth it. So many decades ago when I farmed it out, I made sure I was at every raid. A uh, stone hut can't operate without water. Buildings have no water. Well, that sucks to be them. Maybe they should stop building buildings with the... No Uh-oh. We ran out of water? How do we run out of water? Pump, what are you doing right now? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so that's not good. Uh, I think we're going to need another pump. I don't think we have much of a choice there. Now, they already drained the reservoir dry, too, so fantastic. I'm going to pause the game up before this gets any worse. Uh, where was the pump at? We got refineries over there. The pump was right there. Okay. Like, I'm perfectly capable of putting in a new pump, like, right there and making it happen. It's not a, a giant undertaking. It's not like they have loads and loads of stuff going on. That place has enough water for a little while. Man, these are some high... These, these cavemen out here have high expectations. You consider that? These are cavemen who expect to have, like, flowing water. Like, damn, son. 
Uh, let's put in... Oh, I don't know. Chumbu. Sure. Chumbu the dead guy gatherer. So there you go, Chumbu. Go do your thing. I think I can build funeral pyres around too, but I don't remember how to do it, so I'm going to have to look at it. We can go with the pump output right there. I'm going to take that now. It seems like a good plan. And then we have expansion. No, that's not really what we need. Burial pyres are a pretty good idea. I think we have those around here somewhere. We also have a local business. Okay. I think there was like a funeral pyre or something we could build at some point. So they've taken to chopping trees down around the epicenter, but what are they going to do with all that wood? Just leave it lying around? No, it allows them to shape it into more useful materials. Okay, that sounds all right to me. I'm going to wait for them to get other stuff done first, though, because stuff like that is super important and we need it like right now. We've got people that don't have housing and don't have water and whatnot, so if we can take care of that business a little sooner rather than later. We got an engineering hut around here anywhere? I would love to get another engineering hut. Not another warehouse. I don't think that that's a good look. I don't think we need that at all. We got an archive. Yeah, there used to be like a little a burial pyre building you could make that was pretty sweet. I'll probably put this in right here just to help out with repairs and whatnot with other stuff. So there we go. We got angry people at the eatery right now, hopefully making things better. Fall has begun. Gravity, do your thing. Yep, knock the leaves off those punks. Get rid of them. Oh, we're gathering a little bit of water right now. Yay! Things aren't as bad as they could have been. That's pretty solid. I think it might be a good idea to make these reservoirs a little bit more resolute as well. Yeah, we've got a plus two surplus. They're gonna go through a thousand water pretty quickly though, unfortunately. They're gonna they're gonna get stuck with the cost there pretty rapidly. Edumacation is done so we can make schools. We've got dew forecasting, which gives us the bunker and the forecast tower. I guess we care about that somehow. Oh yeah, there's one right there. So they burn dead guys on that, in case you didn't know how it works. Like, people will die, this dude will go out, he'll pick them up, he'll bring them back, and then once he brings them back... There we go. Now we're pulling water from this reservoir. Very nice. So we've got an 82 output right there. I think that's combined between the two of them. So we should have a surplus of water for a little bit. At least long enough to get over to this body of water as well and get it all fixed up. Because these weren't irrigated, I'm not sure if they're going to finish in time. He might come back over here and do it. But I'd like to have another harvest in before winter gets here. It'd probably be useful. How much medicine have we prepared over here? Good. We've got three medicines in case people get sick or anything like that. Well, other stuff that we can build... Taking a look at everything. We've got a wood refinery and a stone refinery. I don't think it's too bad of an idea to put this somewhere near a warehouse. Can I not build over there? Can I do like that? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Get a little wood refinery in right there. I'll put a stone refinery in right over here, too, because that's where all of our stone is at. What is our population at right now? We're at 18. Okay. We've got two kids, and we're on 18 right now. That's good. That person has no energy, so it looks like she's falling asleep standing up. Yep. Apparently, she's got to get to the eatery, though. Little Brian won't go to bed tonight unless he gets his musubi. He won't accept it. We're at 72 food. Hopefully that's enough to get us through the winter because I'm pretty sure. Do I not have a worker over here? Damn it! Uh, Uboss. You are now, you boss, you are now a fisherman. So have fun being over here and making fishy things happen inside the confines of our culture. What are you guys doing over here? Nothing much. I love the way it grows. Like you start out and it just gets larger and larger the entire time. Like it just sort of expands out and does its own thing. I like it. The weather is definitely getting colder. Now we've got Halhi who has been born, so that's good. We've got a couple of children sitting around. People over here taking care of their happiness and resting a little bit. I'll probably also build a local business around this place. That's the eatery. Was the local business? Oh, we've also got a school. Okay. We've got the archive right there for education. Um, I don't know what a local business does, but it doesn't feel like a terrible idea to me to have one. Like, maybe they can trade something? I don't know. Put a local business in right there. Meh. I don't even know what it does. Probably it's like a... I think the last time I played this game, it was like a hairdresser or something like that. And when your people are upset, 
they can go to the hairdressers and they can like get their hair did so they can feel better. I can assign a nugget. Uh, let's get, I guess, Chambu. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, as many people as we can on repairs. Looks like our little city is spreading like wildfire. We got huts all over the place. They've got like a minimum distance they build. Oh no! Someone died. So somebody died peacefully in their sleep. And we're just accepting that for right now? Are we gonna burn them? What the hell is that? Oh, we've got like a human cooking pot over there. Uh, damn it is finished, which increases our pump values. Let's go with... Let's go with well water capacity. I think that's a pretty good idea. We've got a lot of people coming in, and chances are I'm probably going to have to drop another well anyways pretty soon. Is the well frozen, or is it like doing its thing? Looks okay to me. It'll get an extra pip, too. Once I find that people are going over to the well or having trouble... Is that an engineer? Is that what Elu does? Fixing a building. Doing nothing. Okay. Nice. I assume she must be one of my engineers then. She's out there swinging a hammer and making it happen. Uh, unread. Hemhu. Find my lost nugget. I'm begging for help. My family is in complete and total shambles. Our little baby boy, Wimba, was playing outside just a minute ago. A Wimba wep. A Wimba wep. I usually have my eye on him, but got distracted by my neighbor's lizard barking for the fifth time today. Keep telling him to put it in the other yard, and when I look back, Wimba was gone. One of the couriers said they saw him chasing a butterfly into the woods. There are wolves out there. My wife is going to kill me. Please bring Wimba back safe and sound. I will be eternally grateful. Also, if you're feeling generous, we'd really appreciate better neighbors. Okay. So, find Wimba and return him to his parents before he meets the unfortunate end of becoming something's dinner. I will take the quest. Uh, so, we've taken Wimba as a quest. So, like, do I have to find said Wimba? Can Wimba be, like, under trees and stuff? I have no idea what the best way to find a child is. But I'm going to look around. Hopefully, is that Wimba? Nope, that's Chuho. Okay. Uh, Wimba, it said you went into the forest. Where'd you go, buddy? You're around here. Aho has died of old peace. Aho worked there. So you might want to familiarize yourself with Abos as they will be taking over the position. Okay. Cool. Apparently, they replaced themselves with their jobs or something. Uh, I don't see a little kid around anywhere. Like, I don't know if this is a good job for a god. Like, I'm trying to do my part. You would think that if I had actual god powers, I would just, like, know where he was at. But I guess I'm kind of like one of those underpowered gods that needs a little bit of help. So can he be, like, anywhere? I'm concerned by the potential that he could be, like, legitimately anywhere on this planet. Like I said, he walked off into the forest, but I don't see him around here. Little bastard, this is Darwin Awards right here. This is survival of the fittest. If you don't make it, you don't make it. Alright. Ah. Little kid hunting squad is not going very well. I don't like really see him anywhere. We got a bunch of LED deer over here cruising down the streets getting sideways. Um He's got to be around somewhere, though. But finding a small child on an entire planet seems sort of horrifying. Like, I, that's actually a pretty daunting prospect. I wonder if I can go to my population menu. And his name was Wimbu? Sort him by name. Can I find children? Do I have, like, a children list around here? I don't see anybody named Wimbu on this list. Maybe it's just a quest where you get like a free kid or something if you solve it. I don't know. Let's float around a little bit more and do some more godly shit. Uh, Wimbu. Wimbu? No! Abos died of old age too. I think Aho died and then Abos took his job and then Abos also died. So I suppose that's just the way that it goes. I mean everybody gets old. That's kind of a sad factor of life. You don't like it, don't live. Oh, wait, you didn't have a choice. You didn't have a say in the matter. Apparently, Uhu is going to be our new... An Uhu sounds like a dessert. Like, yo, can you grab me the last Uhu out of that box? Dude, I'm going to eat the shit out of some Uhus right now. I'm higher than hell. 
Uh, we just went through a rain cloud. I don't see a small child anywhere. Uh, he might be dead. I, I think I'm going to chalk it up to just poor parenting. Um, like, I could get mad about it, but... I don't really see any way that that's going to fix the situation in any regard. I can't even find my way home. So making me responsible for a child is a terrible play. Wouldn't do it. What? What? Wouldn't do it. Luckily, I managed to find my way back home, but it was challenging. It's no wonder Wimba couldn't find his way back home. Like, I can't, I'm a god and I couldn't find my way back home, so that's kind of terrifying. That's horrific. So, he'll become something's dinner. We have spam messages to punish my nemesis. We had a deal. Oh, I guess I already... I already missed that one. Look, it's god mail. Yeah... I, I don't know what to do with that one. He's around somewhere, but... Not anywhere under my godly purview. He could be up under a tree or anything, really. I mean, I suppose if I'm floating around a little bit later and I find a little kid, I'll take care of it. I started a research for artisanal water pumps. That'll allow me to upgrade that by like three more pips, and then it'll make these draw like 1,500 more water per unit or whatever it is that they do. I'll probably be a little useful. That's Chucky. So Chucky's walking around. That's him who. wonder if the little kid's just like laying around or what's going on. The research for bigger buckets is done, which is great. That means our pumps are working better, I think. We can get a farm upgrade with a crop plot. Or we can go with a eatery upgrade with a worker slot. Let's go with the uh, farm upgrade and then we'll do that one. We'll just kind of queue them up so that they're ready to go. This thing right here is not ready to go at all, though. We can go mortar and pestle or we can give our guys a chance of getting twins when they give birth. That's an option. Something to consider. If I see any small children around, I guess I'll say something, but... Eh. Hoping for the best out of this situation, because... Oop, is that a little kid right there? What's this little kid doing? Is that Wimba? No, that's Kelhu. Who is that one right there? That's Ulu. Okay, never mind then. I see little kids in a forest, and I'm like, well, maybe that's one of the ones that got lost. I don't know, my cavemen are doing a shitty job of maintaining their children. They're bad parents, dude. They are really bad parents. I don't leave your child with a caveman is the best thing I can tell you. That ain't going to work out none. Ain't nobody getting out of that one. When disaster strikes, uh, you will run to the bunker. Okay. I assume that's for, like, tornadoes and stuff. Now, we got a school. How big's a school got to be? Like, that big? That's not too terrible. I might be able to fit it in somewhere better, but... I did say I wanted to keep expanding this way, so I suppose we'll send them to school right here. Perfecto. Uh, that might mess with our herb field over there, which would kind of suck, but then again, we've got loads of stone rocks right there too, and so I don't think we need all of them. School is under construction. Little children, where are you? I don't know where little children are. I'm a god, I'm flying near and far. Hmm... That's Ucky. Parents must not have loved her very much. Who's going to name their kid Ucky? That's not a good name. That's like Yucky minus the Y. That's a bad plan. They could have named you Yucky, but they cared so little they just went with Ucky. Mm-mm. Not good. Uh, my name is Splattercat. This is the Universe Sim. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. If you want to get the title for yourself, they just released the Medieval upgrade Update, which is what we are playing in it. Um... So that's what that is. If you want to support me, hit that like button down below. It's the best way to do it. And I will see you all next time. Hi, do everybody.